What's up, guys? It's your boy J3, and we are back with more Fortnite. So let's get into the video. As you can see at the top of the screen, subscribe. It was a great day. So I want to tell you the story about how I lost my voice. So I was at the park, you know. I was driving around, vroom vroom, in the go karts. I slip. Someone rear-ends my vehicle. Vehicle. I slam into the wall. My head and my neck and my entire body. The car destroyed. When it, it felt like all my bones done broke, and then I, I lost my voice instantly. So not that I knew how to drive instantaneously. Goodness, I almost broke my neck. That hurt. Then it was like, it was like, it was so insane, and it was all a blur. So yeah, take this as a note. Do not let somebody rearrange your vehicle and make you almost break your neck on the. I don't know what. I don't. Is rearrange the right term? Don't let somebody bump and knock you out like the Demolition Derby in the game. Don't let somebody do that. Don't do it. Unless you want to break your neck. And I'm sure you don't want to break your neck. So I got two more stories to tell. Alright. So let me tell you a story about a kid. <laughs> me just saying that the kid should know who I'm talking about. Well, the kid that I'm talking about knows what he did. I'm just saying, but the kid, so tell me this, tell me this, tell me this, I wanted to prank him, right? I wanted to prank him by saying I got better at Fortnite, right? But it was my cousin playing. Don't blame me, I'm not bad. That's why my aim was gar. that's why the aim was garbage, but the building was on point. So, I prank him, right? I prank him, right? Then he get his uncle and mm, let me make this not more obvious. So he gets a family member and they start saying profanity towards me and my cousin. And I'm not a little baby, so I know some words I can say in defense. So I say those words, and he think, and he takes it to a whole nother level. He's like, <laughs> so tell me why, just why. I block him for like an hour or so. Unblock him. So. <laughs> I don't even know why I unblocked him. <laughs> I don't even know why. But still. Right, here's another story. It's called. The one time I got scared. Of a game. Now listen, listen. I'm not gonna say the name of this game, but you should tell by the by the names of the of the characters. So, you know the one game where you gotta fight against a bear, a chicken, a, a rabbit, and a fox. That just gave it all away. But I remember the one time. <laughs> you ever seen that one meme where he got jump scared by the night by the scarier version and then he punches his monitor? You ever see that meme? That was supposed to be me. Yes, yeah, sorry, but I played all the games. I know all the lures and 
Uh, what? How? So according to my calculate to my calculations. The animatronics are my eyes just got weak. What was that? <sighs> Never mind, I stopped the curtain. I don't even hey Let me get my bow real quick. Oh, Okay, but it did scare me because how in the world are the the the, the bear, the rabbit, and the chicken gonna be as slow as rocks? What the dang fox? Is gonna dash? Towards the door. In the speed of <clears throat> light. And then all you see is. And then you get jumps. And well, you get attacked. You didn't. I mean, you done. You you eliminated like this. That quick. Yeah. All right. Let's skip topics. So remember that story I told you about that kid. Alright, in the story I told you about me bashed my hand into the wall on the go kart. Alright. And the fake story about the game. Alright. Alright, guys. I think I'm in this video for 80 like buttons, but I'm not seeing you next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. Also, thank the bus driver. You never know. He could come to your house. Peace. He wouldn't. Trust me.